driving from Oslo to Bergen, cross country. We rented an electric car because gas is very expensive in Norway. Our road trip began at the Oslo airport where we picked up our electric car and we headed on a cross-country adventure to Bergen, a picturesque city located on the west coast of Norway. So we did a little pit stop to check out the views. We are somewhere in the middle of Norway. I will put the name on the captions, but I'll give you guys a look. Hi. Where are we? In Norway. We're in Norway. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. It's okay. We're in Norwegian. <laughs> Norway. We are in the town of Halo. I hope I'm saying that right. Charging the car. So that's the only thing with getting an electric car is that you always have to plan ahead for these stops. So we're going to grab something to eat, go for a walk while the car charges. After charging our car in Halo, we got back on the road to Bergen. And one of the things that took us by surprise was seeing so much snow because we traveled in April. It was our first time in Norway, but nonetheless, it was a beautiful treat. Because the nature here is so glorious, we had to do another stop. So we are at Fodingfossen Waterfalls. I think I said it right, but the views are amazing. Look at this. We got to Bergen and it was super late. We found a parking garage with a charger and this is a slow charger, which is slightly cheaper, around 17 euros, almost 20 bucks for a full charge, which is not bad. And since we were overnight, we were able to afford time-wise to have the slow charge. So off to our next stop. We arrived in Bergen, the second largest city in Norway. Located on a fjord, it's known for its charming, colorful buildings and snow-capped mountains. We went on a sailing trip, ate lots of seafood, and took the views from Floybanen, one of the highest points in the area with plenty of scenic hiking trails for all levels. You might even run into a goat. We grabbed some hot dogs and headed to Olsenvik to visit my friend Ingun. This trip took around six hours, but it included several ferry rides. The ferries are electric and electric vehicle passengers get a 50% discount on their ferry ride. The experience was fantastic. Electric vehicles are quieter and made admiring the majestic fjords along the west coast of Norway even more special. So we got out of the ferry and it took around 25 minutes, right honey? some great views and it was a nice little break from driving and now we're back at it. Are you enjoying your road trip? Yeah. So we're charging the car again just a little bit like we should have enough to get us to where we need to be but just to be on the safe side we are gonna do a little charge. I don't even so know the why. car is 94% charged so we are ready. We had to do a little picture pit stop. We are in the town of Strin and look at this view. We arrived in Ostenbeck, a small island where my friend lives. We love the nature surrounding the area and I would love to return in the summertime. However, I did try a local tradition of jumping in the cold Norwegian Sea. The cold water is shocking at the moment, but it felt great afterward. So now we're on our way back to Oslo, to the airport, again driving cross country. Our first plan was to drive from Strin, that's where my friend has a cabin, but we got dumped with snow and the mountain passes were closed. So we had to go back to her house in Olsenbeck and drive actually up north to go east. So it's been an interesting journey because now it's going to be eight hours instead of six, which means that we're going to have to do two charges because we also have to bring the car to the airport 70% charge fun. So that's one thing to consider too when renting an electric vehicle. I, I like it. It's just that you have to plan ahead. I hope you enjoyed our vlog on driving an electric car across Norway. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.